Yo, what is up everybody? I want to welcome you guys back to my YouTube channel, Tall Guy Nehemi. If you can, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, let's get into it. So I got an install video for you guys today. We're going to be installing my new fuel pump. Now I've had it for like a month now. Um, I just never really got around to doing it. But I feel like now it's the perfect time. I got the car jacked up. <clears throat> I'm uh, welding on an exhaust hanger. It came off going down my driveway. It's because my driveway is so steep. Like whenever I come down, like whenever I go down the back of my exhaust scrapes and it broke that uh, previous weld I had. I'm not the best welder, but I'm learning. I'm gonna get this one good and firm. I already got um, a couple beads on it now, letting that metal cool off. Then I'm gonna lay a few more, but while that's cooling off, I'm going ahead and taking out the back seats to get to the fuel pump. So before I go ahead and get to everything, um, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the fuel pump right here. Um, it's a complete drop in, no wiring required. Uh, go up to 750 horsepower um, to the crank, I believe. Full 85 um, that's the main reason I'm doing this. I'm getting the car tuned for full E85. That's gonna be strictly what I run in this thing now. Um, I'm super excited to see what it makes. Um, I was thinking about switching back to the 6.4 intake, but I talked to Dave, my tuner. Um, I'd really only pick up a few horsepower on the low end, because that's where I'm really lacking with this car is the low end. But mid-range to top end, this thing, is it pulls like crazy. All right, anyways, back to the fuel pump. Um, you can get this on 797performance.com. It used to be k and Speed Factory. Uh, Kevin and Nick, a couple of good dudes. Fast shipping, great prices. You can't you can't beat it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my tripod set up. Um, just fast forward through all this stuff so you guys don't have to sit and wait and watch me fight these seats. Get all this stuff taken out um, so we can get the fuel pump. Let's do it. So for me, it was super easy. I never, I don't even have it bolted down or anything. Um, I just threw those back in there. Um, one weekend when I was doing a cam swap and had a couple of buddies in the car. So I had to put the back seats in. I didn't want them riding on the fuel pump or anything like that. But I'm gonna show you guys uh, right here where the fuel pump's at. So it's right here. Oh, this is the driver's side. <clears throat> under the back seat, just lift up this flap right here. Um, and it's right under there. All right guys, so just to start, I went ahead and removed this little rubber piece right here that goes onto your fuel pump. Um, and then, once you get it pulled out of the way a little bit, this should just pull up here. <clears throat> Damn, hold on. All right, so it does. Um, what I did, I just took a screwdriver and just kind of pried up on it. Get one side popped up. Oops, sorry, one side popped up and just pull the rest of it out. Now right here, you have a little connector clip. Um, just pull back and it should just come undone here. All right, so now you can see is this little, there's like a little casing right here around the fuel pump. Um, what I'm gonna do, I, you can, there's a special tool you can get or you can rent, buy, whatever you wanna do, or you can use a flathead screwdriver uh, and a rubber mallet. That's probably what I'm gonna do is just kinda knock it um, away from these teeth a little bit. Um, I I'm, might be able to set the uh, tripod up and do it, but um, I'm gonna try this first, see how I can kinda maneuver it first, and then I'll set you guys up. So I, I got it loose, uh, it was on accident, I was messing around with it. Um, I used a bigger flathead. Uh, just be careful, don't puncture your uh, gas tank because it will slip off these. Um, yeah, you can smell fuel bad. I'm just trying to let some of the pressure out of the tank right now, but I just hit this side here um, with a rubber hammer right there. A couple times, like just right around here and then just twist it off. So I'll give you guys a little bit better view of the pump itself here. Um, it's set up really nice. Um, Seems like it's made well. Sorry, it's not focusing. All right, guys, so this is where I'm at here. Um, there's these little white connectors. Um, hold on. They're right there where these clear tubes go out. There's two right here, or there's one here and one on each side, two there. I just gotta remove those and slide these hoses back and then the pump's ready to come out. Um, a little quick tip, or it's pretty much common sense, um, something that I lacked on this install. <laughs> I shouldn't, I mean, I filled the car up last week and I completely forgot all about it. And I just kind of moseyed my way into this install, but the tank's pretty much full, like three quarters full and fuel is just kind of getting around in that little rim area, which is fine. It's not getting all over the car or nothing. It'll go right back where it is. Um, but yeah, just probably doing like half tank or a little like a quarter tank, something like that. And you should be all right. All right, guys, I went ahead and got everything disconnected. Um, everything was pretty easy except this piece right here. Um, it was just kind of hard because it had this, uh, thing in it and I just kind of manhandled it. So I'm gonna have to get another one of these to put this back on to hold it onto the, sorry, the fuel pump. Um, but other than that, it was pretty easy. Now I just gotta remove it. 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and got all my connectors back and connected up uh, properly. Um, so for this connector here where I had broke it, I just kind of made like a makeshift one. Um, it's not really makeshift, it fits. I just had to trim up this uh, old um, injector thing that I had. I'm gonna put a, a zip tie around it, make sure nothing comes off there, and then I uh, should be good to go. All right, guys, so I got the fuel pump back in and secured. Um, this little ring around it here was probably the hardest part, trying to get it lined. It wasn't hard getting lined up, but it was hard to get it to all lock into place at one time. So now that that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this extra fuel, get it plugged in, um, and then make sure it works. Here's the old pump. I'll let you guys see it. The other one just feels a lot bigger, more durable, just like better put together. Oh, there's still some fuel left in this, but for a 100,000 mile fuel pump, um, it's held up great. Talk about a little bit of nerve wracking. Um, I was super nervous to start this thing up. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but everything went good. The pump primed. I primed it uh, three times before startup. It started right up, uh, no issues, idling fine. Um, no codes or anything. Well, it has a code on it, I need to check. It's, I don't think it's for fuel pump. It's like a no description code. We don't know what's really throwing it, but I'll double check uh, tomorrow morning, no big deal. Also shout out to Nick, man at 797 Performance, uh, hooking me up with his fuel pump and giving me a couple tips for the installation. Uh, I texted him a few times, um, super quick with the response. Thank you, man, I really appreciate it. But I'm super excited to get this thing on the 85 and see what it does. Um, it's, just, it's just gonna be sweet. And I'm super lucky to have the 85 around me. I'm getting the 85 test kit tomorrow to test um, what ethanol level it is. But it's nighttime now. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up for the night. I'll let you guys hear the car in the morning. I got a few errands to run tomorrow. Um, so we'll be able to test out the new pump, see how it does. I'm not really gonna get onto it too much um, until Dave sees a revision, make sure everything's working properly. So with that being said, man, I do really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video. If you can, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.